How you doing? Good. Are you one of the youngest surfers in the world? I think so. After you surf in the morning, do you go to school? Yeah. Folks, you're gonna see a world oh. champ right here. I think you're gonna be a world uh, champion. Yeah, what do that. you think? Oh. Are you gonna be a world champion? Yeah. <laughs> So that was a declaration. It was made right here on KTLA back when Kanoa Igarashi was just five years old. And now the Huntington Beach native is an Olympic medalist. He secured silver at the Tokyo Games. He's amazing. Yeah. I know you know how amazing he is. He has made his Olympic debut this summer, as we said, in Tokyo. The 23-year-old from Huntington Beach, one of six surfers to medal Kanoa, is joining us live all the way from Tokyo this morning to talk about his accomplishments. Thank you so much for being here with us. Waking up early, or is it late? I don't know what time it is. I think it's it like 10.30 at night there. Yeah, right? but it's early for us. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Wow, it's uh, so nice to talk to you guys. Um, that, that little snippet you know, brings back so many memories. But... Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a crazy last few days. So you know, Kanoa, you are KTLA family. We, we love you a lot. We've been following you, obviously, for years. Uh, you are from Huntington Beach, but your family is actually from Japan. So talk about representing Japan and what it means to medal for the country that you represented and also the host of the games. I mean, there, there's so much intertwined. It's pretty complicated for you. Man, it's so complicated, you know. It's uh, but it's, it's just, I mean, first of all, I'm just so th thankful to, to have this position and being able to represent so many things that mean a lot to me. Obviously, my family means the world to me. Um, being able to represent them on, well, the Olympic stage, being able to represent Japan and being able to represent America and, and Huntington Beach and where I grew up. Um, you know, this, this medal right here is, you know, it's not just uh, for myself. Um, you know, it's it's a heavy medal, but it's enough to, to be able to split between all the people that uh, support me and all the all the things that I like to, to represent. And uh, yeah, wow, it's been a, it's been an amazing week. I just you know I'm trying to soak it all in. It must be so hard to sleep with it, you know, like you. I wouldn't let it go, right? Yeah. And it's like it hits you in the face. <laughs> Hey, Kano, can you talk about your parents really quickly? I always see your dad at the Huntington Beach Pier. He's cheering on Keanu, who is ripping, by the way, of late. I see him on the north side of the pier all the time. But your parents moved you uh, to California specifically to become a pro surfer. This has really come for a full circle for you. How are your parents reacting to all your success? It's so emotional, you know. It's just there's so many things involved. Uh, just the sacrifices that my parents have made to to get to this point, you know, um, you know, I mean, it must have been such a special feeling for them to to see their son in the Olympics and representing their country and and yeah, it's it's definitely a, it was definitely one of those weeks where it was just a, a kind of a big blur, you know, because it was so emotional. There's so many just highs and and um, you know, we just had a big uh, we we just had a dinner now with a lot of my cousins and uncles and my grandparents and it was super special just sharing each story and and. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my parents got very emotional and I did as well, but just um, because this is a, a family thing, you know, this isn't just me. This is a, a family sport, a family uh, passion. And, uh, you know, people only see me on the big screen, but it, there's a lot more to me than just uh, than myself. Wow, generations, it's generations. That's amazing. So we know that you did take out some pretty big names uh, on your way to silver. What was it like beating current world number one, Gabriel Medina? Wow, that was a really special heat, you know. Um, just uh, being against, uh, my back was against the wall in that situation. I had eight minutes left and I needed a nine point ride against the, the, the current world number one, you know, and um, everything was pretty much going against me, all the odds. But, you know, that was kind of where, you know, I just, I thought about my parents and I thought about the people that were supporting me. And I, you know, I kind of just put my head down and I was like, you know what, you know, if I'm going to ever do it, this is the time to do it, you know, to guarantee myself a medal. To, to guarantee, uh, you know, I mean, pretty much just a moment in, uh, that'll be marked, marked in history for surfing, represent surfing. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. You know, I, I pretty much went for the biggest move that I had in my, in my bag of tricks. And uh, I ended up landing it really smoothly and really, really nice and got a 9.33. And I feel like that's a moment that I'll never forget. And uh, it'll probably be uh, replayed a few more times. Oh, these pictures are amazing. Just I, these I, I know. photos. These the, photos are just like And to secure bad. a nine-point ride when you need it to beat oh. the, the current world number one, it just speaks to how impressive of a surfer he is. So, Kano, what, what's next? We know we're going to Paris in 2024, and surfing is going to be in Tahiti at one of the scariest waves in the world. Do you think you're going to be there, and you think you can get another medal with one of the world's scariest waves? Oh, I'd love to. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's funny. This event just finished a few days ago, but 
people are already looking forward to the Paris. People are already looking forward to Tahiti. Um, I mean, especially for me as an athlete, I went to the gym this morning and that's all I could really think about. I was like, you know, I want to get those endorphins and those feelings and adrenaline again. Because there's something special about Red, um, Olympics and there's something different. It's not, it's not, um, it's not a normal event. Um, you know, I still have an opportunity of winning a world title this year. Um, obviously next year as well, but then, you know, it's all going to, it's all going to funnel back to that, um, Olympic moment, you know, because I think what happened this week is, is something that this is, this is Olympics. This is real. Mm -hmm. This is where, this is like the peak of, of sports. And I really felt that this week and, um, it was definitely very special. Okay. So we got to talk about the waves that you're making on social media. <laughs> Um, a lot of it we can't show, but there's a lot going on here. No, what's going like on on cracking, TikTok, man? You're cracking you're, you're up kind just of a talking stud. about it. Look at you. What's the deal? <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what. I, I seriously don't know what happened, but you know, it, I don't know. I guess it's just been going crazy on uh, on TikTok and Instagram and everything. <laughs> it's just funny. It's it. We live in a generation where we're able to interact with our fans so closely, and you know, I feel like um, you know. We're all just a big family, and, and and I just have fun. Like I'm a 23 year old, I just like to have fun with the um, you know the the people that support me and people around me, and and you know like I don't want people to look at me as a as an Olympic athlete or a medalist or you know top five in the world. I, I want people to understand that I'm also just a normal 23 year old, and I like to have fun. I like to be on TikTok. I love Instagram, and um, you know, and I want everyone to come on this journey with me because it's just so fun. And, uh, you know, even if it is a few dances on TikTok, that's... Uh, I know. Yeah, I want to having... see something. What's your favorite dance? What's your favorite <laughs> TikTok dance? Do you show us some moves? What do you do? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm not a really good dancer. I mean, if you guys go to my TikTok, you guys will know right away that it's like, okay, this guy does not know how to dance. But I think I think a lot of people follow me to just maybe make fun of how bad it is. But <laughs> I, I try my best. Oh my gosh, it's so fun to talk to what you. What a great thing. Kanoa, really quickly, can we get that medal one more time? Yeah, can you put it on yourself? And, yeah. and and this is really a representation for Huntington Beach, Surf City, USA. It's where you learned how to surf. And now Southern California is home to a, well, the, one of the first Olympic medalists ever. Th this is just right. incredible. Can no, we, we're so proud of you. And thanks for- But don't for, go, wait. Oh, go, let's wait. do a high five. You want to do a high five? And we'll take a picture of our, our first go. high five with an Olympian. Hang on, let me see if I can do it. I can't press it. Will you I press mean, it, Mark? I, I, uh, hang on. Okay, wait. Look into the camera. Oh, wait. We'll get Yay! the screen grab. Hey, Yay! Kanoa, congratulations, man. We're so proud Thank of you. you so so excited. I can't wait to bring this home. Thanks, bring guys. it here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I will. I will. See you, Kanoa.